question. Right here, guys. Get it right here. Uh, Get it right why are you doing SNL? Well, the question was, question is, are you going to do Saturday Night Live? I don't think that's a spot for me. I would love to do it, and the only reason why I would do it is because of you guys. Crazy on TV. It's just to let you guys in on, on uh, any personality that us ball players have. You know, we try to show that we're not just robots. Wake up, perform. You know, we uh, we appreciate what you do and come out to the field. So it's our little give back to be a little quirky here, be something fun. Okay. How many microphones do we have out there, by the way? Just one. We need to get one over here and one over here. He's got one right here. We've got. Two. Oh, Peter, go ahead and work the room. Work the room. We need another question on this side. This young lad to the right here. Your question is to who? Spot now, you have to foretell the future. Uh, I'll take the same amount of wins as long as we get back to the World Series. Fortunately for us, it only took us to win 92 games, but uh, however many it takes next year, I'm sure we'll be up for it. Yeah. Brian, you want to do the predicting game here? It took us 161 games to wake up and nail down the last one. So.
you know, someone's first game watching me play, you know, and I was always, my uh, college coach told me to, you know, never disrespect the game, you know, so, uh, if I, every game if I go out there and, you know, if I don't have as much as I should, um, you know, I, I try to just push myself and give everything I have, and uh, that inspires me, just knowing that there's people watching me and, and, and little kids, you know, hopefully their parents are telling them, you know, we want you to play uh, the game like him one day, you know, or, or watch him play, he plays with a lot of heart and passion, so. That inspires me, just the young kids, my family, and, and coming out here and doing the best I can do. All right, very well said. Brian, yeah. your biggest inspiration? I play this game for a million different reasons, but there's only three that I would like to mention. It's, it's the only three that, that really matter to me. First, I play for my maker, but for God. Yeah. And, you know, like these guys, I play for my family, I play for my father. He's not here right now, but he's watching. And then uh, I play for all you guys. Just a couple seasons we do, and uh, you know we appreciate everything you do. We wouldn't have you know a great ball club if we didn't have 50,000 raging fans wearing black and white. All right, guys. I think we're going to go over this side. We've got a young gentleman over here with a question. Um, this is for Jimmy. <laughs> what would you rather have more? Two back-to-back Cyums, which you already have. <laughs> He's got all these accolades, these you know things that I think people have never done, but there's one thing he hasn't done, that's the World Series, and that's what he said he wants to get the world. So when I heard him say that, you know, it, it changed my perspective on it, and obviously that's that's the one thing that matters the most that World Series run. There it is. We want to thank, by the way, Michi's for sponsoring the uh, Michi's Q&A stage. So Michi's call, you know, Michi. Check them out at Michi's.com. Michi's. <laughs> They're very, very good. All right, who's next? On the right side of the room, we're going, oh, right? Uh, who is the mic? Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, One of the great Giants fans of the ball. What's up, Giants girl? I'm Lauren from San Francisco, and I have a question for all three of you. Um, what is your typical off-season workout schedule like, and how did it have to change since obviously your off-season was shortened a little? Good question. Again, Tim, let's go in the one hole. What do you got? Um, you know, for me, I think it goes back to that terrible August that I went through and, and made you guys into your as well. <laughs> So hearing that from your pitching coach definitely makes you want to push harder at that. And, uh, yeah. And Freddie, your off-season regimen and how it changed playing until November 1st? You know, for me, unfortunately, the last two years I've had surgery and I've had to deal with injuries. And, uh, you know, it's tough. You can't get uh, prepared the way that I normally like to. You know, I usually, I'm going to a facility, whether it's athletes' performance um, in Arizona, or I'm always trying to be with around guys that are going to push me. And, you know, I haven't been able to do that the last two years. So, um, you know, for me, it would obviously be a short off season, rehab, 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 um, just like last year. But at least this year, I'm uh, way ahead of schedule. Um, and I've been lifting with the, I did a mini camp with the, uh, you know, with a lot of the minor league guys in Arizona. And, you know, a great bunch of kids. And, and just, you know, they pushed me. They kicked my butt. You know, those young pups kicked my butt. But, but it's good. So, uh, that's, that, that's the main thing for me is after rehab in the last couple of years. But I'm finally now able to get stronger and get my strength back. All right, Brian. And you're, uh, you've already mentioned a little bit that you had to start your workouts. Well, you can take it from here. Four. Yeah, I start my workouts uh, around November 1st each year. And luckily for me, I, I got to do it just before game four in Texas. <laughs> workout, workout hasn't changed at all. I have a, a regimen that I go through. Uh, it works. Um, you know, I try to be in the best possible shape that I can be. I was told when I was younger in Little League, you want to be a successful pitcher, run. So that's what I've been doing. I've logged over 700 miles this off season. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, 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 a crazy. I feel that if I'm in the best possible shape, if I mentally drain myself, pitching will be easy. And if I come into spring training raring to go, my teammates will respect me and understand hard work does pay off. On the left side, I think. Okay, where is this one coming from? Oh, right here. Uh, my name is Isabel. I'm from Pleasant Hill, California. My question is to Brian Wilson. What were you thinking as you had to just, you know, 
strike out the, the last pitch, you know, to get Well, as you know, and always know, is a 3G count, probably. <laughs> Uh, regardless of what Buster calls, I think the key will, uh, I'm going to make this the best possible pitch. I'm not going to try to make it nasty, but I'm going to stay within myself. But I got comfortable because I saw a section above home plate, way up at the top, thousands of Giants fans standing, standing up in that, in that ninth inning like they always do. I took a glance in the dugout and there was no fear. You know, as long as I know that my team has my back, uh, regardless if I give up a homer in that situation, that wasn't going to happen. I was thinking, San Francisco deserves this. They've worked their tail off. This final pitch is for all the legends of the game in San Francisco. They have an opportunity to bring home the World Championship. And as much pressure as that may seem, I just smiled through the pitch, knew what was going to happen, and turned around and had just a bunch of guys aiming for me. <laughs>